Hi YouTube, this is uh, part three, I guess, with the SIG M400. This is about the EOTech XPS2 and G33 magnifier or hybrid sights for those of you that have played that have played Call of Duty, or maybe they dumped that term, I'm not sure, but it's called the hybrid sights with the flexibility of a standard red dot and a magnified optic. So <clears throat> we'll go through it first. First, I'm gonna talk about the XPS2-2. So the dash two means it's got two dots as compared to the other one. So um, features available in fl black, flat, dark earth or zombie camo. The zombie camo is kind of a green sort of smoky, crazy looking thing. I don't know, it's kind of a cool color. Um, so it comes with a 65 MOA circle uh, with two one MOA dots. And I think I have it turned on right now so I'll show you what I'm talking about. So can see right there it's got two dots in there and that's uh, how it's set up it's supposed to be better for long range I think you're supposed to sight in the center dot at 100 or 200 yards and then the lower dot is going to be for like four or five hundred yards but um, this isn't my site so I'm not sure of the exact range but I know that's the idea behind it um, so one MOA equals 1.05 inches at 100 yards um, for those of you that don't know. So 65 MOA circle with two 1 MOA dots means that 65 MOA circle cover, covers about 60 inches at 100 yards. And then 1 MOA means that it covers about 1 inch at 100 yards or 1.05 inches to be exact. So um, with, each, with each 100 yards, it goes up about an extra inch. So at 200 yards, it covers uh, 2.1 inches. So about two inches at 200 yards. So that's what they mean by MOA. Um, the two dot system is for different ranges. Um, this does have some pretty long battery life. This one uses, I believe, uh, a CR123 battery in here. And this, uh, this case is gasketed. It is covered, so, um, so you're good to go there. They do have a model that uses AA batteries. I don't know the exact model number, but they do have one that uses uh, uh, AA batteries. But it does have long battery life. If you get AA batteries, I would suggest you use lithium batteries so that the uh, so the site will last a long time. Although I'm pretty sure the projection uses uh, uses a bunch of little individual LEDs, and LEDs are very low power consumption. So I think you'd be good there. Um, it does use half MOA clicks, so it's not as precise as some other options or magnified optics. And what I mean by half MOA clicks is your adjustments right here, your left and right, and your up and down. So every time you click that, it jumps a half an inch at 100 yards. And I know you're saying, well, that's still pretty precise. Yeah, it is. But there are some sight options that have quarter MOA clicks. So it's a little bit more precise. Although everybody that I've talked to that's had this set up has been extremely pleased with it. So uh, half MOA clicks, I'm mostly saying, saying it to you so you have an idea of what you're getting into if you're used to quarter clicks. Personal preference, really. Um, it does have a rugged construction. Uh, it's parallax free and the optics are recessed. And what I mean by that is, if you look in here, this is a little tricky, you can see the glass is actually behind that little hood on both sides. It's a little bit farther out in the front, but in the back, that's really, really recessed. So you have this nice solid hunk of metal right here to protect your, uh, to protect your glass from getting damaged or anything. And that's really nice. So. That is very rugged construction. Uh, it's submersible up to 33 feet and it weighs 8.8 .8 ounces. Uh, those are directly from the, the specs on the site. So this is pretty waterproof. I mean, you know, you can completely submerge it and uh, it, it does weigh 8.8 .8 ounces. So you are adding that to the top of the rifle, although it's more towards the shooter. So it shouldn't throw off your balance too much, but that's just something to consider. Um, this was kind of a cool feature I saw too. Uh, well, actually first I'll just tell you, uh, easy co-witness. 100% co-witness, meaning when you look down the sight, uh, you can see straight through, let me get it up here. You can see straight through the irons and get that sight. You can see right there, that's 100% co-witness. They have what's called a third co-witness, meaning that you can see the sight, uh, you can see the iron sights through the red dot optic, but it's not completely, it's not completely in there. It's like one stacked on top of the other. So this is a true 100% co-witness if you want that. This cool feature I was talking about, the left and right buttons that you use to turn this thing on, you can see them right there. And yeah, that, that, that is an issue and I'm gonna talk about that. 
if you push the left button first, this site will stay on for four hours. And if you push the right button first, this site will stay on for eight hours. So it does have an auto off feature and yeah, I don't know, you can do that according to however you want really uh, using the left or right side. So that's pretty cool. So now the magnifier. Features of the magnifier, it's available in flat dark earth or black. Uh, it doesn't come, I haven't seen one that comes in zombie. Maybe they have one that comes in zombie now, but I didn't see it. Um, it's very, very clear glass, and it actually is 3.3 times magnified. It's the true magnification. It's not just three times. So that's this guy right here, and I'm going to show you all that site set up all together after I go through this. So um, it's waterproof and fogproof, which is really nice. So it is sealed. It's submersible. Very sturdy, just like this. So this sighting system together is submersible, so it would be good for uh, you know just about anything. It's really, really rugged. Um, the mount on this one I've seen is superior to the aim point mount because I think with the uh, with the aim point magnifier mount you actually have to twist it to get it out but this one just moves by hand and it locks in there really tight as you can hear I mean it's not going anywhere that is really tight and <clears throat> and the mount is included is included with uh, with the magnifier or with this whole site setup and I think the aim point you actually have to get the mount separately so in that regard this is better than an aim point magnifier. Um, it uses it uses a, a pretty rugged construction that weighs 11.9 ounces. So surprisingly, this magnifier actually weighs more than the site. And together, 8.8 .8 ounces plus 11.9 ounces. So you're looking over a little bit a little bit over a pound for this entire setup. So you know, take that for what it's worth. But you are adding a little bit of weight. This is long. I'm going to go into more detail on that later. Uh, it does have a strange eye relief at times. It's 2.2 inches. Um, it has manual focus and adjustments. I say weird eye relief because um, it's like you have to kind of get your face really close to it, but uh, you know, that's up to you. But as you can see, let me get this thing in the right spot. As you can see, that is really, really sharp. Look how sharp that circle is. So this is a really, really good setup and it, it does increase your effective range. So now the hybrid sighting system, how, how is that? How, how does that stack up to everything else? Well, number one, it is pretty expensive. So it's about a thousand for the whole setup. That's about equal to a Trijicon ACOG, which comes in, I think, a fixed magnification of three or four times or something. Maybe I'll annotate that. But the price of this together is about equal to that. So there are some other options for how much you're paying for the site setup. But then again, you also get the flexibility of magnification or no magnification at all, as opposed to the ACOG, which is a fixed magnification all the time. So um, the length, it is a little bit long. As you can see right here, it pretty much fills up the entire upper receiver with, with an iron sight backup over here. So if you didn't have that, you'd have a little bit more room, but it's still a very long sighting setup. So you do have some length there. That's something to get used to. Weight, like I said, it does add it does add a little bit over a pound to the to the receiver of the rifle. But the good thing is it's not all the way on the muzzle end, so you're not going to be struggling to keep that muzzle up. It's back right where you tuck that thing into your body. So the weight isn't that bad. Um, this is a big thing you'll probably notice when I showed you the sight. I would suggest using this setup with another holographic sight. I believe the model is the EXPS with side buttons. So the one disadvantage of this that my cousin's noticed since he got this sight set up is that you have to actually kind of reach in there to push that button. It's a little tricky, especially when you're turning it off. You push both of these and it's right in the way. <laughs> so the sight setup is still really good. This is uh, still set up just like any other EOTech. So the optics are the same, but the buttons aren't on the side. So it does make it a little bit more difficult to turn it on and off or to adjust the brightness. Um, it does have a very sharp reticle. You saw that earlier. Just scroll back a little bit if you want to see what it looks like down the sights. Um, I say MOA size right here because the good thing about this sighting system is it has a one MOA dot in the middle. So when you zoom in three times, that one MOA dot becomes three MOA, if my math is right. Um, it does get a little bit bigger. So if you have a, a two or three MOA red dot already and you zoom in on it, that's going to cover a lot, a lot of your view in there. It's going gonna, it's gonna to obscure a lot of objects when you're looking at that projected dot up close. So I like that this, this dot is really small in the middle so that it doesn't cover a whole lot of area whenever you're zoomed in on it. And that increases your effective range. And I think this site setup is very robust. You know, it's, it's water submersible. They're really tough. It feels like they're made of forged aluminum or some sort of forged metal. 
maybe they're cast, I can't really tell, but they feel really, really solid. So overall, what do I think about it? I think it's a great siding system. It is a little bit long. That would have to be something for you to get used to. It is a little bit, you know, a little bit bulky. It is a little, a little heavy too. So there are some downsides, but you get great versatility. If you want, um, you know, good uh, CQB up close, just flip that guy to the side, and you have unmagnified red dot optics with the uh, with the EOTech. I also like a red dot siding system and the fact that you can keep both your eyes open all the time. Although you're taught to shoot with both your eyes open most of the time, if you're looking through a 10 or 12 power scope, it's a lot more difficult to get your focus down with both eyes open with that, and you usually end up just holding open one. But with the red dot sight, when you keep both your eyes open, it's kind of like your left, dot, like your left eye or your non-dominant eye subconsciously projects that dot on the same object. So you can sort of see it through both eyes. So I do like a magnified red dot optic setup in that regard. That's really cool. So I think this setup would be really, really good for hog hunting. Um, it, it doesn't have, this one's not night vision capable. I think you can get a magnified, uh, a magnifier for the holographic sight that is, uh, is night vision capable. I could be wrong about that, but um, this would be a really good setup for hog hunting. So I think it's good for that. It's good for, uh, for close quarters and the magnifier really increases your effective range very well. So overall, I do like it. I think it's a little long. I would probably go with just a single aim point or just a single fixed magnified optic, but if you want the versatility, know that the length and the weight comes with that. So this is Big Apple. If you have any other questions, just post in the comments.